UTC is a time standard that all drone operators must adhere to. And you probably don't know it, but it's the time specific that you need to know about. And I'm going to tell you all about it. Before we go any further, we just want to give a shout out to today's video sponsor, and that is Cover Drone. Cover Drone provide insurance and policies for you, whether you're in Canada, whether you're in New Zealand, Australia, or anywhere in Europe. So make sure you select the link in the description below and get yourself an instant quote and instant coverage, whether it's just for a day or it's for a year or any certain period that you want. Cover Drone have you covered. Make sure you fly safe. Hi everyone, Stephen from The Flyby Guys, and today we're talking about UTC. UTC is Coordinated Universal Time, and it's the time that basically we need to work around. Now, this is something that you may know about, or you I'm guessing that you probably don't know about, but every time that you go into any application, or you look at NOTAMs, or you can be looking at, let's say, METARs as well, the time that is specified on that information will be UTC. Now, UTC is not a time zone, it's a specific time which is done by computers or, or, or anything technical. So all the information that comes out will be done in UTC. Any of you who work in servers, you will look and you'll see the time, it will be UTC. Now, whether you go onto your drone applications and you, and, and you see the times, now, if, if, for example, that you have a no-fly zone, a no-fly zone will come into effect at a certain time, at a certain day. But if you look at that time, it will specify UTC. Now, that means that you need to understand where you are in relation to that UTC. So for example, it's summertime here in Finland. And so that means that we are actually three hours ahead of UTC specific. If it wasn't summertime and it was, let's say, wintertime, then we would be two hours ahead. So for example, in the UK, at the moment in summertime, they are one hour ahead of UTC. But when it comes to wintertime, they will be actually on UTC, or as they call it, Zulu, okay? So make sure, because I know I have an example of this. <laughs> I have a really good example uh, where it is good to know. Uh, I was in London doing uh, drone operations um, and uh, we were told on a certain day, so uh, and, and we were flying on a day, and we were told that day that there would be a no-fly zone put into place in London that afternoon and it would come into effect at five o'clock and it would end at 10 o'clock, which meant that we had to stop operations at five and then we would continue at 10. Now, that's what we were told. Now, when I went to check the applications uh, to, to look at the NOTAMs, it came up that yes, it was five o'clock, but it was UTC, which meant it was six o'clock UK time and it was 11 o'clock it was going to end. Now that, now, okay, it's good to know, but if, if we hadn't have checked that, we could have got into trouble because we would have been flying an hour early than expected and we could have got into trouble. So it's always good to check your time where you are in relation to the no-fly zone that might be in place at that time because we all live in areas where we, we may not be able to fly at a certain time and those, those times may end at a certain time as well. So it is good to know and make sure that you understand the UTC. I'll leave a link to UTC and all the areas of UTC as well. So I'll leave that in the description below. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel, please. And we'll see you on the next video. Fly safe. <laughs>